Good evening, everyone. Even though, as always, it is still very clearly afternoon. Welcome back to SGN. I'm John Krasinski, and this is the holiday episode. Now, if you're like me, this is without a doubt, as the song says, the most wonderful time of year. It was until I logged back onto the internet. That's right, other than someone trying to make eggnog with actual fresh eggs, there's nothing that can take you down quite like an innocent meander through the virtually decked halls of fan art. And like any good villain, it had the audacity to draw me in with kindness first, as I was humbled by this sweet memorializing of myself by Patrick Scullin. But I quickly found out that was only part one of this one-two punch as I was immediately torn down by this ego destroyer by Island in the Prairies. Oh, not sure if I'm more hurt by the accuracy of this illustration or by the simple fact that the truth is now out there. So, scrolling along for my life, I then stumbled upon the healing salve of a good old-fashioned dad joke, delivered by E. Costa No Blue Blue. Krasinski. <laughs> that gets me every time. But that respite didn't last long as I was then confronted with the horrifying fact that I give children actual nightmares as depicted by the son of Krista Bratton 79, where I am quite clearly seen to be wearing a ski mask while breaking and entering. And as if my ego hadn't taken enough of a brutal beating, it was actually Art by Rebecca who sealed the deal and made my insecurity soar with this photo, which one would only assume is me hosting this holiday episode. But after closer inspection of this confounding face, I thought perhaps it was the internet's not so subtle hint that it would much prefer to have this show hosted by one Justin Timberlake. I'll do it. Guys, what the? There's no one here. We should get to the good news, right? Wrong, wrong. You know why? Because if there's anything that that Crimber Lake elf drawing taught me, it's that we can do better. We can do better. And now, it's time for some good news. And since it's been a while, we thought, why not get some good news straight into your vein with a new segment we like to call the lightning round. So without further ado, let's give it a go. Whew. This girl got a new puppy. Elliot got teacher of the month. This woman is the first in her family to graduate from college. This family got a new house. These two, after trying to conceive for two years, finally got pregnant. This dude turned eight. This dude turned 101. And this dude walked into a barber shop to get his head shaved for cancer treatment. And this happened. I am clearly winded. So while I catch my breath, let's head to someone who makes the lightning round look all too easy. A noob. I need some good news. SGA. This year's been tough, but dude. Thank you to drivers bringing a good feature. Thanks for the packages the and the news. Thanks to my neighbors, I got some views. Close and parades, I'm making my whole day. This holiday season, I'm feeling okay. So thanks for the news and John, back to you. Thanks, a noob. Well, it's that time of year again when your heart feels a little warmer and your gestures get a little bigger. And everywhere you look, good news is all around you. So coming at you from our good news partners, kicking things off, if you've seen this show before, then you know nobody loves a wedding like me. So from Good News Network comes the story of Samantha, 
Who, while going through treatment for cancer, is rarely allowed guests, let alone a party. But when the nursing staff saw the beautiful engagement ring on her finger, they thought she needs to have both. In Brainerd, Minnesota, something wonderful is happening. From Good News Movement comes the story of one man who, while pulling up at a Dairy Queen drive-thru, made the simple kind gesture of paying the bill for the car behind him. Well, instead of taking a free meal, the car behind him decided to do the very same thing. And well, after only two and a half days, over 900 straight cars decided to do the very same thing, creating a chain of over $10,000 worth of paying it forward. In Gulf Breeze, Florida, the good folks at Sunny Skies bring us the story of Michael Esmond, who at one time in his life had struggled to pay his heating and electric bills while trying to raise his three daughters. Well, now Michael is a successful small business owner. So what's he gonna do this Christmas? He's gonna be paying the overdue bills of 114 households so that families in his area don't have their heating or their electricity turned off during the holidays. And from our very good friends over at Tanks Good News, not wanting to be outdone in the great game of giving in Los Angeles, California, Isaiah Garza upped the ante beyond any place anyone ever imagined he'd go, especially his friend Robin. After living on the streets for over 20 years, just getting to meet Isaiah was one of the greatest things that ever happened to her. But then Isaiah, went and did this. How you doing, sweetie? Yeah! Open it up. This? Yeah. I got you an apartment. No. It's ready to go right now. I'm taking no. you. Oh. Yep. Oh, you're, you're crazy. You're no longer homeless. You're crazy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm blindfolding you, okay? Are you ready? Did you like it? Oh my God, I thank you so much. And last, but certainly not least, this holiday season, before we all start singing Santa Claus is coming to town, maybe we should be singing FedExes. At 5.53 a.m. this past Monday, the first vaccines were delivered and millions more are on their way. So, goodbye 2020, and here's to a much, much happier new year. Well, I think that's as good a time as any to have a check on the weather. How's it looking out there? Looks uh, pretty good. Looks pretty good. Thanks, George. And that'll bring us to our final segment this week, one we like to call Parents That Rock. This year has certainly been difficult for everyone, but somewhere in between that alternate reality they call Zoom school and that special moment when you forget whether or not you even showered that day, parents have found a way to keep us going. You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need Ooh, You are so beautiful To me
And it just doesn't get any better than that. But perhaps my favorite hero parent of the week story was Jay Abel. Now, like many people, Jay has been struggling to make ends meet this year, but he wasn't going to let that ruin his kid's Christmas. So what did he do? What any hero dad would do. Sell all your favorite stuff on eBay. Here to talk to us more about it is our Will You Adopt Me correspondent, Jay Abel. Hey! Hey, what's going on, John? How are you? What's going on, dude? How you doing? Happy holidays! You too, brother. Thank you, my man. Dude, it is so nice to meet you. You are like the most cheerful guy of the holidays. I love this. Thank you. So are you. I I appreciate you guys reaching out to me, man. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? I think your story is my favorite story this holiday season. It is just like super dad stuff. So I got to ask you, is it true that you are selling all your favorite stuff on eBay to buy presents for your kids? Absolutely, yes. I'm just trying to be, be what I expect of a father, you know? I'm not doing nothing special. You're a great dad too, man. No, dude, I just look like a good dad. This is all fake. <laughs> this is all just for the nah. cameras. <laughs> and this stuff is very important to you, I imagine. Is this your favorite stuff? Are these a few of your favorite things? Yeah. <laughs> I'm um I'm a collector. They're my favorite stuff, you know, but my children are more important than me, so I'm okay with that. That's amazing. But Jay, I got to be honest with you, I have a little bit of a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Cuz I saw your story and I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go online and I'm going to buy all this guy's stuff. Oh, you did? Yeah. The one thing I didn't plan on was that you wouldn't let me. Dude, is this your eBay account? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So I was right to go to Nerdy Comic Books. Okay, there you are. And when I went on Nerdy Comic Books, I found something I wanted to buy, and it was this. Jay, is this your amazing Harley Quinn poster? Yes, sir. It is. Well, I was trying to buy it for $450, and you know what I was told? Cancel. <laughs> Jay doesn't trust you. What? <laughs> Did you cancel my order because you thought I was a creep? I, I thought you were a scammer, yes. <laughs> it's, you know, I based it Is off this your John Zero. Cena doll? Yes. <laughs> the figure eight, Does yes. it say, sorry, you cannot currently buy this from seller? Yes. Okay, cool. I just want to keep going. Not not a lot. You know, my ego can't take much more, but we're just going to go through it. <laughs> so on Poshmark, I think the most offensive part was on Poshmark, they just called me straight up fraud buyer. So that was yeah. that was tough for my ego. That was tough. What I did was I took my hero of the holidays and I put him in a bunker because he thought he was under cyber attack is basically what happened. Yes, I did. I'm like, wait, I'm getting all these people from straight out of New York. It was all new accounts, literally. Like you guys yes. made them within minutes. <laughs> Dude, even thinking you were under cyber attack and you were being catfished by some creep, which you weren't far off. <laughs> you were still so nice to me on eBay. You said, this feels fishy. Sorry, I just don't feel comfortable with the sales. Hope you understand and good luck in the future. Who yeah. are you, dude? It's like the <laughs> nicest get the hell out of here I've ever heard. Well, I, I like to treat people the way I want to be treated. <laughs> dude, even under cyber attack, you're polite. That's that's saying something. Well, dude, Thank listen, you. <laughs> all this stuff was never about you, right? It was never about your eBay yeah. account. It was always about your kids. Am I right? Yes. Well, let me ask you this. Do your kids have a Christmas list? Yes. Excellent. And now that I know that, I can honestly say there's nothing I can do. <laughs> but lucky for you, there is someone who can because, Jay, I know the big man in the suit. I actually know the guy that you tweeted to get this whole thing started. So, drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Duanta Claus. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rock? What's happening? My man, Jay. What's going on? <laughs> How are you? How you doing? Tell me a little bit about what's going on. Tell Dwayne Claus everything. Yeah, so you know, I, I'm doing good. You know, I'm blessed. I have two amazing children. My son, he's 11. His name's AJ. My daughter's eight, and her name's Elisa. About 2000, uh, actually, it'd be. In two days, I believe, it will be um, three years since we lost their mother and my wife. 
And so, yeah, so the last, um, the last couple of Christmases have been kind of down a little bit. So, and with the COVID, it's kind of hard to get a, you know, a part-time job. So I'm just trying to give my children who are finally starting to get back to what could be described as norm, a better Christmas, you know, and, you know, like, so I started this eBay thing. I reached out to you because, you know, you're the man. Well, the truth is, I saw your tweet and your tweet really, really moved me. Here's why. Of all the things you could have asked for and of all the things that people do ask for, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with asking them. The only thing you wanted was a retweet. I, I thought, Duana Claus can do better than a retweet, right? So <laughs> did your kids make a, a Christmas uh, list? My my son just told me he wants the you know new Xbox Series X you know and my daughter she has yeah she has a list <laughs> she mainly wants like LOL surprise OMG remix and that's why I started selling on you know eBay I opened a new account started selling just trying to raise the funds to be able to provide them both with that. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take all of your stuff off of eBay because. Dwayne Claus is gonna take care of all of that stuff, man. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, real? Thank you. Oh my! Are you kidding me? No, I. Thank you, guys. I can't believe it. You are very welcome. But we ain't done yet. Dwanta is not done yet. I also want your kids to know what kind of father they have. So uh, I hear that you like comics. Yes, sir. I know that John tried to buy everything from you. He creeped you out, and I told him. <laughs> He did. <laughs> he totally did. I, he totally creeped you out. But uh, so you uh, do you like Black Adam? I, just a little, just a smidge, yeah. So when this whole thing is done uh, and when it's safe, I want you to come down to Southern California and I want you to visit us at the DC Universe. Jesus. And we'll show you around, give you a whole bunch of cool DC swag. But... It ain't done there either. This is crazy. Uh, because I know that you are a big collector of comic book memorabilia, I got a little something special cooking up for you. I'm going to take the script, my script, my official Black Adam script, the one that I will work on every day that I'm working on now, from beginning of production to the end of production. And once we wrap, I'm going to take that Black Adam script that has my name on it, I'm gonna bound that sucker in leather. I'm gonna put Black Adam on that cover, and I'm gonna sign it to you, and that's your gift. Oh my, are, dude, no way! Oh my God, really? Thank, <laughs> thank you. That's so generous of you. Oh my gosh, man, just talking to you is an awesome present. Oh my gosh, thank you. Welcome, I'm dear. speechless. Thank you, Rob. Well, Jay, I gotta tell you, you deserve it all, man. Your story is an inspiration. You are an inspiration, not only to myself, to Dwayne Claus, but certainly to John, certainly to everybody who hears your story. You inspire so many people because the truth is, you represent so many parents around the world who are going through the struggle this Christmas. That is why my good buddy John and I called some of our elf friends to see if they're able to help some other families just like yours all around the world. So that said, our great partners at FedEx have decided to donate to one of our favorite charities, Toys for Tots. So because of you, Jay, and because of your story, our amazing partners at FedEx have decided to donate $5 million. Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh my, that is more important right there. You know, there's so many more needing children than my own children. So that is the best present I have heard other than, you know, the, this is, you know, your script. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh my, this is crazy. I, I, I gotta be honest, man. You are what the holidays are all about. You embody the spirit. And I, and I feel very confident I can speak for my friend John here is that, you know, the, the true measure of a man and the true measure of, of a human being, truly, is always what's in their heart. Always what's deep down in their heart and in their mana. And you, my friend, are, you know, you're the measured stick and the, and, and, and the guidelines. You inspire us. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year to you, AJ, Lisa, 
and certainly the spirit of their mother. And uh, we love you, man, and, and Merry Christmas. Thank you. I love both you guys too. Merry Christmas and Happy New Years and all that good stuff. I'm 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 still starstruck, man. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Rock. Thank you, John. And that will do it for this holiday episode of SGN. A huge thank you to our friends over at FedEx, not only for that enormously generous donation, but for the thousands of men and women who are working around the clock, putting their lives on the line this holiday season and the whole year through to keep our country going. So what do you get for $5 million, you might ask? Well, at SGN, we give you the kind of thank you only we know how to give. Thank you. And to the rest of you at home, thank you for watching SGN. The next time you're looking for some good news, just remember, you are the good news. Love you, Coco.